We've gathered 11 amazing tips that you're going to love. I challenge you, keep score. How many of these tips did you already know about? Let us know in the comments section below. Let's dive in with a really cool timer hack. Let's open the clock app on your phone. I'll swipe down from the middle of the screen, type in CL, and then tap on clock here under top hit. I've got timers here on the screen. If you don't, just tap timers in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. 15 minutes looks good to me. When timer ends, tap on this menu, scroll all the way to the bottom, and look at this stop playing section. This is awesome. So I'll tap on that and then I'll tap set and then I'll start my timer. Whatever your iPhone is doing at the moment the timer expires, it closes that thing and goes right back to the lock screen. This is amazing and it is the missing sleep timer on your iPhone. So if you like to fall asleep to the sound of music or an audiobook or a podcast, you can set a timer to stop playing the audio when the timer expires which prevents the audio from playing all night and potentially disturbing your sleep and draining your battery. Or if you're a parent managing screen time for your kids, this timer can automatically turn off their game or music or video after a predetermined amount of time. Forget about constant supervision. Let the kid's iPhone be the bad guy. But we're not done with timers just yet. Here's a quick tip for the timer in control center. I'll swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of the screen with my finger and what we're talking about is this little icon here, the timer icon. If you don't see it, just go to settings, scroll down to control center, tap on that, then scroll to the bottom of the screen and tap the plus icon next to timer. And I'm gonna drag mine up towards the top because I use it a lot. Now that we've all got a timer in control center, I'll swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of the screen again. And if we press and hold, we could just use the slider real quick to set up a timer. For anywhere from one minute to two hours, let go when you're ready, tap start, and you're going. You can even tap the plus button to set up additional timers. This will save you literally seconds of time. Next up, one of my favorite tips, and this is for those of you who love reading the news online but hate the ridiculous amount of ads you see. You are gonna love this one. Let's take a trip into Safari. I'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen with my finger, tap to open Safari, then tap in the address bar, and I'm gonna go to timesunion.com, tap go. Just a local newspaper's website. Here I am, I'm going through. Fishermen rescued after melting ice traps them in shanty. Let's learn more. I'll tap on that. Oh, a paywall. I can't even get out of this. Subscribe for only 25 cents. Okay, don't freak out. We can still read this article about the shanty. Tap the two little A's in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen with your finger, then tap on website settings. Then tap use reader automatically. Then tap done in the upper right-hand corner of that little window. And now we can just read the article, no ads. Watch what happens when I go back though. Still got the main page of the website. You find a different article. Olivia Rodrigo's tour bus spotted at Crossgates Hilton. It's probably an April Fool's joke. Oh my gosh, she might be spilling her guts in Albany. I don't care about this, but if I did, I could read it without being bothered by ads. This is awesome. Reader mode is amazing because you can also customize the fonts. I'll tap the two little A's again and tap the big A, the big A, and the big A. This is amazing when website owners use text that is way too small. Much easier to read now. You can change the font. It's amazing. But enough about the news. Let's head back to the home screen. You've taken the time to pack away your apps into these tidy little folders, but getting to a specific notification takes an extra tap. Fortunately, there is a nifty trick to streamline the entire process. Instead of tapping to open the folder and then tapping on the specific app with the notification, Messenger in this case, you can just long press on the folder itself. Voila, you'll see the name of the app with the pending notification. Just tap on the name, the app opens right up. It's all about saving you seconds of time, but this next tip is gonna save you many, many minutes of time, trust me. I'll open the Photos app on my phone. Have you ever made an edit in the Photos app and wished, man, I wish I could just take these exact changes and copy them to another photo? Well, do I have a tip for you? Let's choose a photo that you've already edited. I will tap here on this beautiful loaf of bread I made that looks like a shoe. What do you think? Should we become a cooking channel? Let us know in the comment section below. Tap edit to go into edit mode, then tap the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Then tap copy edits. Now, 
gonna get out of this photo by tapping cancel and tapping the back button. Now I'm gonna tap select and tap my other two pictures of the loaf of bread. Then tap the three dots now in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and tap paste edits. Bang. This is amazing. If you took the time to edit one specific photo when you were at the beach, for instance, and now you want to apply those edits to all the other photos you took at the beach, this actually is gonna save you a lot of time. And it's pretty amazing. Apple really makes it easy to copy and paste edits across multiple photos or videos. So watch out, Scorsese, you're in town. Next, do you have that special someone that you wanna keep in touch with? Even when Do Not Disturb is on, you are gonna love this next setting. First, I'll open the phone app on my phone by swiping up at the bottom of the screen, tap on the phone icon, and then tap contacts if you haven't, if it isn't open. Tap the contact you want to allow through Do Not Disturb. I'll tap on John Upphone's name here, then tap edit in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, then scroll down to ringtone here, tap on that, and then turn the switch at the top here next to emergency bypass. This is great for people who you care about even more than your job, which I hope for you is some people. Bonus tip, you can create custom vibrations here for individual contacts. Next, have you ever written an essay to somebody in the messages app? It took you 15 minutes to type and then you accidentally delete it and have to retype it all. It is very frustrating. I'll open the messages app on my phone Swipe up from the bottom, tap on the Messages app, and here we have a message I've been working on to my friend Keith who hasn't texted me in the last 10 minutes. And it says, do you still like me? Do you still, oops, I just deleted it. What do I do? Well, if you tap with three fingers on the screen, preferably somewhere in the background so you don't end up accidentally typing something else, boom. A bar appears here at the top of the screen. I have been using iPhones for a very long time and I never knew this existed, probably because using three fingers to tap on your iPhone is not the most natural thing to do. Then again, neither is shaking your phone to undo. At least this way is a bit more dignified. So I can just tap undo, continue where I left off. Now we all know that you can customize icons on your home screen. I'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen Press and hold anywhere in the background with my finger and all the apps start to wiggle. This tip is not how to move your apps around, but once the apps are shaking, then tap this little dot slider thing at the bottom of the screen. All of your home screens appear. To hide one, just tap the check mark underneath it. It's a great way to keep some apps hidden from other people's prying eyes. But what's super cool is that if you've made a mess of your home screens, like I have, you can delete entire pages here after you hide them. The new Dave's in town. Now, do you ever find yourself on Facebook, you go to share a funny photo or video with your friends, but you accidentally share it with your boss, which can make things a little bit awkward. Here's a quick tip to avoid those awkward moments. Open it up here, you can see what I'm talking about. I don't wanna send this to Scott, but I could easily make this mistake. Not anymore. Go to settings on your phone, swipe up from the bottom of the screen, then scroll down to Siri and search, tap on that. Then scroll down here to suggestions from Apple and turn off the switch next to show when sharing. Now I'll head back to the photos app, tap the share button, and now it's just all the things that I want to do not a bunch of people that I can accidentally send this amazing loaf of bread to. Next up, an amazing tip for visual lookup. Here I have a microfiber cloth. You might wanna use a shirt because that's really what this is good for, but it's gonna work for this example. Next, we'll open the Photos app and tap the eye in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Then tap Look Up and Rate on Laundry Care. Now this is going to take those little icons and translate them into actual words I understand. So line drying is allowed. I don't know what that means. Washing, normal process, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. I did not even know before visual lookup that these little symbols meant anything at all. I suppose that I could have figured it out eventually, but I thought it was some sort of a hieroglyphic. Maybe this is the key to all those languages that we can't understand in the past. They're actually just instructions 
for uh, doing laundry. And we think it's gonna be some sort of a Rosetta Stone. No, it's just Tide. Hey, all you non-iPhone 15 Pro owners out there, are you jealous of those iPhone 15 Pro users that get to flaunt their fancy new action button all the time? With this setting, you can stick it to them. Let's open settings on the phone, swipe up from the bottom of the screen, tap back to the main page of settings, scroll to accessibility, and then tap to open that up. Scroll all the way down and tap on back tap, off. Now, I'm gonna tap into double tap to begin. Now you can double tap the back of your iPhone to do any number of things. Eat that iPhone 15 Pro owners. Small side note, if you do own a 15 Pro and can't decide which amazing feature to assign to our incredible action button, you can make back tap another action button so you can have multiple ways of pressing our amazing action button. Just don't tell all those other losers that don't have it. Thanks for watching our video. Join the channel if you'd like to support us. Please share this video. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Do, what, do whatever you want to. You're not supposed to say more than one thing. I just said like four things. We'll see how that works out.